Hello, my name is PJ Capozzi, and I am Superintendent of Schools for Meridian 223. The purpose of this voiceover PowerPoint presentation is to detail the amendment process for the FY23 budget. In order to start, we need to understand the overall financial health of the district. We measure financial health by our amount of operating reserves. As you can see, um, we will have a little over $14 million in operating reserves at the end of fiscal year 23, um, which means that we are about 65 to 75% of our operating uh, budget is in reserve, which puts us in very strong financial health. Fund 10 is an operating fund and it is our most important and most used fund. This is where all expenditures related to uh, education come into play. This includes salaries of teachers, of support staff, of administration, and also includes all things food service, all things technology, and the vast majority of grant expenditures come here as well. We can see that, that we ended FY22 um, in a strong position. To begin FY23, um, we had a little bit of a dip. This was largely a result of missing um, some grant payments, meaning that we spent money in one fiscal year, we did not receive it. So you can see that where we were at from FY22 to FY24, we looked to actually be increasing our uh, surplus a little bit, which means that over two years, um, we are tracking to be um, revenue expenditure positive over those two years. The adjustments that are seen in the large document that's based out of Excel sheets that will be put in for approval um, is that we had a handful of things that impacted our revenues, which is obviously positive. We had a handful of things which impacted our expenditures, which in these cases are also positive, um, but impact the bottom line. Uh, number one is that we had delayed grant reimbursement from our emergency connectivity um, fund grant, which we thought we were going to receive last year. We're gonna receive on this fiscal year. Um, you'll see that three of the next four items are competitive grants or grants um, that everyone gets but get to a different level based on how they are written. Um, so our digital equity grant was about $500,000 in revenue that we didn't expect. Pre-K was over $200,000 in revenue we didn't expect. And the COPS competitive grant was $500,000 um, that we didn't expect. And then CPPRT is... Uh, corporate personal property replacement tax. We have no influence over that. That's just basically, uh, in in some cases, in direct correlation to the health of the overall economy. Um, with the economy performing well, CPPRT increases as well. Expenditures, uh, digital equity was a grant we didn't expect to get. We received the grant and then we spent it. So we didn't budget for the beginning of the year, but we spent that money. Same thing with pre-K. Um, as a result of securing the additional money through CPPRT and the uh, COPS grant, we went ahead and moved forward with a capital project to create secure vestibules, um, to tear away uh, the trailer in the back of the high school and to extend the building in order to make room for those things. So that is a large capital project that was an expenditure that was not budgeted for, um, but given the fortuitous um, budgetary impact of multiple competitive grants and being in a healthy financial position, we move forward with that. We also had a, a large discrepancy in where we had budgeted for substitute costs and where we ended up. Our normal substitute usage was pretty consistent, but we had several long-term subs due to um, illnesses, births of children, etc. this year um, that increased that a bit. The bottom line is that despite all of the adjustments, we still end up in a pretty favorable place. We should end up balanced for the year. I say should because it's not an exact science, meaning if we get a certain payment on July 8th instead of on June 30th, it throws off whether or not we show balanced for the year when the audit comes. In the grand scheme of things, we will end up balanced, meaning we have brought in as much money as we're going to expend this year, just depending on the hard um, deadline date of June 30th, which creates our fiscal year, makes things a little bit uneven. We will show a large surplus in our operating funds. That's fund 10, 20, 40, and 70. We will show some deficits in 20, 60, and 80. So um, even though the overall operating fund will be um, healthy and in surplus, 20 will bring it down a little bit. Fund 60 is capital projects, which is whenever 
um, we have a large capital project, so we don't um, have the ability to tax for that, but we do have a little bit of money there. We're going to spend that down to complete the capital project. In fund 80 is risk management um, and toward, and so the surplus that we have in that, we're going to put um, toward the secure vestibules um, to increase the safety of our schools. Again, overall, we're going to end up in a healthy position, even though there's some substantive changes to the amended budget. As always, my name is PJ Capozzi. My cell phone number is widely available, and this is my email if you have any questions about this presentation or anything to do with the state of the financial health of Meridian 223. Thank you, and make it a great day.